Okay, so I have added my extra thread and now I am ready to attach this piece to the main body of the sculpture here. As this gets larger, it's going to get harder and harder to work with. I am just not going to think about that. <laughs> just go on as I am doing this. I have never made anything this large, so I really don't know what to expect. Uh, that's part of the fun of the process. Uh, so I need to just match the edges I have left here on um, complete. The I'm going to attach it starting from this side. This edge, one, two, is going to go in this little V here, one, two, and one, two, three. This is my spot here. Try not to lose that. So I, I double, triple, quadruple check what I'm doing because obviously, because obviously if I make a mistake on this level that would be uh, quite tragic. Too much coffee, my hands are shaking. <laughs> okay, all right. Check one, two, three. It's the third triangle from the corner. And here we go. Okay, so here I have a slight problem. I am working on this central node here before I have attached, attached the six triangles. So you can see that I pull here, it pulls that bead out. I, I've actually, as I've worked on this project, I haven't done it in this particular way before where I made the pentagon completely separate I actually built uh, um, built built a smaller pentagon and then attached it differently so um, for the purposes of being able to show um, for the video series I did it this way so you could so I could have something separate that was easy to follow along with but now I'm having an issue attaching it to the sculpture and I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave the central node um, unfinished and attach this here so that I have 
uh, something easier to work with. So I'm going to just follow along where I attached this thread um, just to reinforce it because it turned out the thread was a bit short here and I'm not really happy with the strength of that stitch. So I have enough thread left to just go through again. And I am going to also knot it somewhere along the way. Okay, the thread is running out here, so I'm going to just cross over these two triangles and knot it Okay, so that was really annoying. Uh, I did not have enough thread and that gave me a lot of trouble. So, this is going to take longer than I thought it would because I am going to... Yeah, there's not enough thread. I'm, I'm going to attach the thread. I'm going to attach some extra thread here. So I've assembled one, two triangles, and I have, this is enough thread, this one isn't, so I'm going to attach some extra thread here and continue to reinforce this stitch, go around three times from my central node and to have enough to come out and attach this thread. 
uh, attach this triangle and I'm sorry I'm out of breath because <laughs> moving this thing is really heavy holding it up I'm standing and doing this and uh, <sighs> this is a lot harder than I planned okay so I am going to attach some extra thread here wait no I need to knot this off first and then attach attach some extra thread make sure that this is all strong so I don't like this because it's not perfect I, I like to have uh, a perfect thread path and uh, this is messy to me but Honestly, nobody can see this, so um, I'm going to do it and make, just make sure that everything is assembled, assembled solidly. Okay. I have attached the pentagon on one side, these three triangles here, one, two, one, two, three. And I'm going to work on this next side. Um, actually for this video, I think I am just going to attach this first triangle here and do the central node and leave it there for tonight. Um, I have enough thread luckily to do the central node and to attach this triangle here with this thread that I left. I am going to do what I did before where I'm going to attach the triangle first and then work on the central node because it's just easier that way.
Okay, so I just knotted off the thread and I'm going to end for the night because that was really hard. Um, I, and I'm tired and my eyes are kind of, I can't seem to focus anymore. So, uh, I'm going to end it there and uh, continue tomorrow. So, I'll see you then.